Borough Market is London's most famous market, so I'm gonna tell you what you need to know before you go and some of my favorite foods to try while you're there. Okay, so the market isn't open on Sundays and Saturdays can get absolutely manic, so I recommend trying to visit on a weekday. Of course, between about 10 and two o'clock is when it's gonna be the busiest, so if you can work around that, that's even better. There are two main parts of the market that are separated by a road. Make sure you check out both sides because there's loads on each side of it. And finally, if you're visiting in a group, I think a great way to experience the market is for everybody to pick one dish and then for all of you to kind of like have bits and pieces of each other's food so you can try everything and not just one thing. So here are some foods that I recommend trying in Borough Market. If you like chorizo, then pop over over to Brindisi's Chorizo Grill and get one of their chorizo rolls. They're pretty popular, and in the sandwich you get spicy chorizo, piquillo peppers, rocket, and it's all served on a warm ciabatta bread. Comptoir Gourmand has a lot of Instagram-worthy sweet treats, and they taste pretty good too. You might remember seeing this on my Instagram. They have these enormous meringues that they're really known for, but their macaroons are really popular and I can say myself that they taste pretty good too. They're not just pretty. And even for you Kiwis and Aussies, they had some pretty juicy looking lamingtons last time I was there. Cabocasin, which I don't know if I'm saying that right, is a French dairy shop. This is a place to go to get a really good cheese toasty, or as us Americans call it, grilled cheese sandwich. It's made with a few different types of cheese. It also has leeks and onions on it, and it's gonna say you about six pounds, but it's pretty damn good if you're a cheese lover. Just a tip if you're not really into burnt crust, just let them know beforehand and ask for a shorter toast time. Mine was a little crispy on the edge last time I was there. Bread Ahead makes warm, fresh bread and pastries at their shop around the corner, and then they sell them at their stall in Borough Market. Their donuts are really good, but if you're staying in like an Airbnb and you have to make yourself breakfast, this is a really good spot to get some really fresh bread and then pick up some jam at one of the stalls nearby. They're also really known for their cheese and olive sticks, but they definitely taste better when they're warm, so either ask whoever's standing at the stall when the next warm batch is gonna come out, which is rumored to be around 2.30, or pick it up while you're there, bring it home and warm it up in the microwave or the oven if you have one. So this is not technically in Borough Market, but right next door is Monmouth Coffee, and this is the place to go if you love coffee. There is constantly a line out the door trying to get into this shop. You will definitely have to queue, but if you go on the takeaway line and you don't like want to sit inside, it will go a lot faster. And I've just heard that it's worth the wait anyway. For another sandwich spot in the market, Gastronomica is a good choice. It has Italian sandwiches and piadine that are like thick doughy wraps of sandwiches that come from Bologna. Whenever I need my piadine fill, this is where I would go to get it. They also have some other options for lunch things for Italian. And then even if you're not into anything they have. Right across the way is La Tua Pasta, which has lots of fresh pasta that you can either buy there and eat there, or you can take away and bring home for dinner. Okay, these aren't the only good spots in Borough Market for food. There happen to be some of my favorites and what I recommend, but I'm gonna keep updating the list down in the description box of other places that I recommend that you try when you're in Borough Market, and let me know what you end up trying when you go. For more London tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my head popping up here, and watch this video next.